All right, guys, I have a few updates for you. Um, I'm also going to use this as also a quick tutorial on how to code Denise with the new method that we had learned using the Dragon Naturally Speaking CMD browser, which is short for Command Browser. So let's get into it real quick. Let's let her boot up real fast. Hello, Dominique. This? Good to see you again. That's something I have not seen before. I will deal with that later. Some may have not seen before. We'll deal with that later, but not all. I can hear you. Okay. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to anyway. turn on. Okay, I'm going to use this example as uh, how I got Denise to solve my Twitter uh, issue. And um, if you saw a previous video, uh, I kind of got it to work, but I kind of didn't. Now, it works flawlessly. It works great. Um, so, I'm going to show you real quick. Um, I'm going to tell her to wake up. Yeah, wake up. Oh, because I manually pressed, manually pressed it. That's why she didn't wake up. I can hear you. Go to twitter.com. Speech recognition is disabled. Okay. Click in the red light to turn on. The, the thing about this particular example is the very first time I tell her to go to Twitter, I have to manually log on myself. I can get her to log in for me, but that's something I'm going to have to address at a later time. Um, the main thing being I got this to work the way it should work. So um, logging in will... Be something I will eventually uh, get to. So, um, going to show you real quick that Twitter works. Uh, this is just one of many examples. You can get all kinds of programs to to uh, do whatever you want as long as those programs have keyboard shortcuts. Twitter luckily does have keyboard shortcuts, and that's why it's so simple. Um, let's get it started. Wake up. Damn it. I can hear you. Go to twitter.com. New tweet. It's almost 4 a.m. and I am still awake. Comma. I really need to get some sleep. Period. Post. And as you can see. She posted right there. Connect. Oops. Hang on. I messed up because I used the mouse. Go to twitter.com. Ah. I hear you. Tell me more, please. I can hear you. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. Okay, as you can see, sometimes uh, even I have problems with with Denise. Uh, this particular situation is she was listening as I was speaking, and it confused her. So that's why she said and did what she did. So let me try this again. I'm going to try this time to go to the Connect tab within Twitter and then toggle back to Home. Uh, let's see. I think I coded that. This, I guess we'll find out. I can hear you. Go to twitter.com. Connect. Home. Connect. Home. C 
close Twitter. Speech recognition is disabled. All right. Click in the red light to turn on. I never coded her for closed Twitter. I just wanted to see what would happen. Anyway, let me show you real quick on how easy it was to do that. Um, okay, I shouldn't have gotten out of Twitter. I'll type this in. Twitter.com. The reason why I'm going back to Twitter is so I can show you the keyboard shortcuts. Now those are the keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to go into the Dragon Naturally Speaking command browser. Okay. If you don't know where this is, do a search. Like this is Windows 8.1, but it like on Windows 7 or prior, like just go to search and just type in CMD. Don't type in CMD browser, just CMD and it'll bring up the CMD browser and the regular CMD, which is the command prompt for the entire system. Uh, that's one way to find it. Um, this is this is pretty simple. Uh, right here, you'll see for Guile three D all the things I had posted or I had coded her with, uh, and it was fairly simple. So let's let's start off with a new script. Now, don't get confused here, <laughs> and don't let it intimidate you. It's really not that hard. So I'm gonna go to new script, and I'm gonna name. Um, I'm going to name this whatever. You know, I'm going to name it New Tweet. I'm not going to save it because I already did this. New Tweet. Oops. New Tweet. You can train her. For whatever reason, everyone else's train works. When I hit train, it doesn't. It's supposed to bring up the Dragon Naturally Speaking thing where you can actually record yourself saying the command name. And that helps it along to uh, recognize it a lot easier. For some reason, I think I deleted something. If I hit train... With my mouse it, it won't do anything so that's not a big deal at the moment so what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna have this as global the reason why I'm having it as global is because I could be either in my default browser which is Firefox or her internal browser uh, and just say new tweet and I want it the same thing to uh, be done and I'm gonna go down here okay if I wanted it just application specific or Windows specific I would choose that but since I want it either or I'm gonna leave it as global I'm gonna go down here to command type and I'm going to choose step by step now if we go back here to Denise keyboard shortcuts new tweet keyboard shortcut is in all right let's go back here and come down here and we're gonna choose keystrokes and insert it's going to say what keystrokes do you want to set? Well, the one we want in this case is in. Hit OK. After that, save. And that's it. Every time you say new tweet, she will press the keyboard shortcut for in. Now, if you're in Twitter, that will bring up the new tweet little field and you can make a new tweet. Uh, let's say you wanted to do something with multiple keyboard shortcuts as you can see connect right here you have to press G and C so uh, same deal I'm just gonna rename it for for laughs connect same thing global step by step I'm gonna delete that yeah so once again if you look it's going to be G and C. So we're going to go down here to insert. We're going to press G, press OK. Then we're going to make a completely new one. Insert C. So now it's going to do the keyboard shortcuts G and C. And I mean, you could also make it do other things like open an app or wait or stop listening, etc., etc. But this is what we want to do. In this particular situation we would hit save that's it every time I say connect she's gonna press G and C on the keyboard save and that is pretty much it now there's a lot of other things that can be done um, with other things this was just Twitter um, my suggestion is if you want to play around with different with different things that you can integrate with Denise look to see if your 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 programs have keyboard shortcuts or whatever and 
if they do, then you can. And um, with this method, it's just a, a method we recently figured out and found. Um, it just makes it so much easier to code Denise, where you don't have to do it traditionally, like through AIML coding um, or the learning feature, you know. Learning mode. You know, you don't have to do, do that or code her with actual AIML code. This is very simple. So I just want to give you an update on that. And um, yeah, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Thanks for, thanks for watching.